The young and the restless spoilers shock. The breaking point, Harrison's cry for peace amidst the chaos. In the increasingly turbulent world of Genoa City, the once strong and loving relationship between Kyle Abbott and Summer Newman has deteriorated into a destructive cycle of bitterness and rage. The focal point of their conflict, their young son Harrison, finds himself at the center of a storm that threatens to tear him apart. What was once a battle for custody has spiraled into a relentless and merciless power struggle, with each parent determined to emerge victorious, regardless of the emotional cost. As Harrison witnesses the endless arguments between his parents, the walls of their home, which once provided a safe haven, now echo with the sound of their shouting. The tension between Kyle and Summer has reached a fever pitch, with neither willing to back down. Their fights have become physical, with anger so intense that it seems they might actually come to blows. The once sweet and innocent child is now subjected to scenes of hostility and aggression that no child should ever have to endure. To Harrison, the world around him is crumbling. The two people he loves most in the world have transformed into adversaries, each more concerned with winning the battle for custody than with his well-being. No longer able to cope with the constant fighting, Harrison reaches his breaking point. In a moment of sheer desperation, he cries out that he no longer wants to live in this house of conflict and pain, he wants to be with his mother, Tara. The impact of Harrison's words is immediate and profound. Kyle, who has been blinded by his obsession with defeating Summer, is suddenly jolted back to reality. The realization that his actions have caused such deep pain in his son hits him like a ton of bricks. He had thought he was fighting for Harrison's best interests, but in doing so, he had overlooked the fact that Harrison is not a prize to be won. The truth is undeniable, Kyle has failed his son, and now the damage might be irreparable. Kyle's heart is filled with regret as he reflects on how he has treated Harrison. The once joyful child is now a shadow of his former self, crushed under the weight of his parents' animosity. Kyle's love for Harrison is overwhelming, but he knows that love alone cannot erase the trauma his son has endured. The only way he can begin to make amends is by winning the custody battle, not for the sake of victory, but to ensure that Harrison's future is filled with love and security. But Harrison is not interested in the promises of a better future with his father. His heart yearns for his mother, Tara, the one person he believes can bring him the peace he so desperately needs. His pleas to see Tara become more frequent, more insistent, until they can no longer be ignored. The child's voice, filled with pain and longing, cuts through Kyle's resolve. He knows he cannot continue to deny Harrison the one thing he truly wants. Yet, as Kyle reluctantly agrees to let Harrison see Tara, a new obstacle emerges, Tara is nowhere to be found. She has disappeared, leaving no trace of her whereabouts. The questions begin to mount, where is Tara, and why has she chosen to abandon her son during his time of need? Kyle's guilt deepens as he realizes that he may be partly to blame for her disappearance. His relentless pursuit of custody may have driven Tara away, leaving Harrison feeling more alone and helpless than ever. The search for Tara becomes a race against time. Kyle, desperate to find her, pulls every string, calls in every favor, but to no avail. Tara remains elusive, and with each passing day, Harrison's hope diminishes. The boy's cries for his mother turn into a haunting refrain that echoes through the halls of the Abbott Mansion, a constant reminder of Kyle's failure to protect his son from the turmoil that has engulfed their lives. As the days stretch into weeks, the weight of the situation becomes unbearable. Kyle is consumed by the knowledge that he has let his son down in the most fundamental way. He has allowed his pride and his need for control to overshadow his responsibilities as a father. Now, with Tarragon and Harrison's heart broken, he faces the very real possibility that he has lost his son forever, not just in the legal sense, but in the emotional bond that once united them. Summer, too, is shaken by the events that have unfolded. While she has fought fiercely for custody, she never imagined that the battle would have such devastating consequences for Harrison. Seeing the toll it has taken on the boy forces her to reconsider her actions. She begins to question whether the fight was worth it, whether her desire to win has caused more harm than good. The fierce warrior in her begins to soften as she contemplates the needs of her son above her own ambitions.